Using the skeleton to take a look at joint mobilization for the tarsals, first let's just take a quick look. Here we have the talus. Here is the navicular, the first, second, and third cuneiforms, and here is the cuboid. Back over here and over here is the calcaneus. We can mobilize the tarsals from dorsal to plantar or plantar to dorsal. The indication for joint mobilization is if a joint is hypomobile, but as a general rule, if a client has a high arch, we generally want to mobilize from dorsal to plantar. If a client were to have a dropped low arch over pronation, then as a general rule, we want to mobilize from plantar up toward dorsal. To locate which bone we're going to mobilize, if we want to mobilize the talus, we would come right down off of the distal end of the leg, and the first tarsal we contact is the talus. To locate the navicular, we use this landmark right here, the navicular tuberosity, which is usually visible and always palpable on the client, and then we just come in toward the midline of the foot to contact the navicular. Dropping distal from the navicular, we would be on the first cuneiform. Moving over from medial toward the lateral side, we would then find the second and third cuneiform. To be sure that we're on the cuboid, we palpate along the lateral edge of the fifth metatarsal, and the base of the fifth metatarsal has this projection called the styloid process. And when we go from distal toward proximal and we drop off of the styloid process, we are on the cuboid. And we can then move in a bit toward the midline of the foot to contact the cuboid. The best contact for mobilizing from dorsal toward plantar is to use middle fingers that are braced. Either middle finger can be the contact on the client with the other middle finger being the brace support. And we simply pull down from dorsal to plantar. Dorsal to plantar, dorsal to plantar. As a general rule, when we get toward the medial side of the foot, it should be the middle finger of that hand that is the contact. It's just logistically easier. If we're at the lateral side of the foot, it would be the hand that's lateral, that middle finger as the contact, and then we brace it with the other middle finger. There. While we are pulling a tarsal from dorsal to plantar, our thumbs are on the plantar side of the client's foot, pushing the foot up toward dorsiflexion to increase the space on the plantar side so that we can mobilize the tarsal bone into that space created on the plantar side. For joint mobilization of the tarsal bones, we can generally either mobilize a tarsal from dorsal toward plantar or from plantar toward dorsal. With the client's supine, it's an ideal position to mobilize from dorsal to plantar. Generally speaking, what we want our contact to be will be braced middle fingers. Our thumbs are on the plantar side of the client's foot. We pull toward traction to open up space. We push the foot a bit toward dorsiflexion to open up even more space to mobilize the tarsal bone down toward the plantar direction. We can do this for any of the tarsal bones. As a general rule, it does not matter whether or not it is the right hand, third finger down on the client, contacting the client with the other third finger, stabilizing on top, or vice versa. But generally, as we get to the side of the foot, we want to put that side middle finger against the client. It's just logistically easier to do that. So on this side, I put my right middle finger here and brace it with my left middle finger. On the lateral side, I would put my left middle finger and brace it with my right middle finger over here.